hey everyone welcome to the video where we are gonna talk about how you can migrate your existing applications to flutter my name is vivek yadav and let's get started let's first see what is our agenda so today's agenda is we will first see what is migration then we will see why do we do migration followed by migration approaches and in the end we will see how to plan migration my name is Vivek Yadav. I am a mobile team lead at Zestmoney. I am Google developer expert for Flutter and Dart. I am community leader at Flutter Mumbai and India Flutter. I am mentor, trainer and contributor for Flutter in every possible ways. You can connect me on LinkedIn, Twitter by the ID Vivek Y259259. So let's get started. So what is the question for the day? The question for the day is what is app migration so app migration is nothing but migrating your application from one platform to another platform in order to upgrade the app with respect to cost security and user experience so what does it mean it means you can migrate your app when you think that either your application is out of date or the platform or the framework that is used to build the app is out of date or you want to upgrade your current framework for example let's say that you are on flutter framework uh, flutter version 1 and now you want to migrate your application from version 1 to version 2 okay or okay, you want to improve some product or it can be related to platform as well okay so these are the things where we can think of the application migration now let's talk about why we do migration okay so the first reason is not able to meet customers expectation if your current application is not able to meet customers expectation then it is the right time to migrate your application i'll give you an example if your application does not have a good user experience at that time you should migrate your application to some other framework where it can provide you better user experience for example flutter okay the so next reason is developer experience okay so we developers we build the application right we are the ones who give lot of time to the application development but if our experience is not that good if developers experience is not that good then yeah it is the right time to migrate your current application to some platform or framework where we can get better developer experience again for example flutter then cost is low in new tech okay if you're spending lot of money in the existing tech and if you think that the other technology is not that costly then you should migrate your application to save some money tech outdated if your technology is outdated for example you do not have you know the modern security or the technology is very slower or it is not able to fulfill all demands right so in that case you should migrate your application process is faster in the new tech if the process like building testing and releasing is faster in the new tech then it is the right time to migrate your application to the new tech because as a product or as a company you would like to build your application faster you would like to test your application in faster way to release your application faster in the market right what's next the next is solving business problems with the new tech for example let's say that you want to build AIML or AR VR kind of thing in your application but if your current framework or platform is not able to provide you with the tools with the plugins or with the support to have those solutions in your application then it is right time to migrate your application so this was all the reasons that you can have to migrate your application let's now see what things are inside your application okay the first thing and very important is the navigation you have multiple pages in your application and you navigate through all those pages next is network apis your application talks with lots of network apis to get the data from server local databases your application can have local cache or you can you know save a lot of data in local databases notifications 
notifications are one of the important thing in an application your application can have multiple types of notification and it can automatically open any page then utilities and helpers and configuration so these were things which are inside your application okay but why we are seeing that because we are learning how to plan our migration right but to plan migration we should know what are things that you want to plan about now let's see what are the migration approaches okay so for migration approaches i had i came up with three approaches you can have your own approach as well or you can follow these approaches the first approach is fully conversion okay the fully conversion uh, is where you stop your current application development for example if you are uh, working on the native app for example the android app with kotlin so you have to stop that development and start with the flutter app right away okay this is not good for everyone but this is good for someone who have less than three to four features in their application okay so this was fully conversion after fully conversion we have hybrid conversions in the hybrid conversion we have two options the first one is flutter in native so basically you are adding your flutter modules in your native modules here you don't have to stop your current development because you are building uh, the new features in flutter and you are adding them in your existing native application or any other existing application so here you do not have to stop your current development okay and with that you can write new features in flutter and add them into the current native app the next hybrid conversion is native in flutter so basically you will have a flutter app and inside the flutter app you will have native features okay so but here you have to stop your current native development okay you have to start with flutter app development and you can add your native feature inside your flutter app and if you're asking me when this scenario can come where i can have a native in flutter okay so i'll give you a scenario so let's say that you already have a feature built in native that you don't want to change for example ar vr so what you can do you can add that native feature in your flutter app and you can have all other features all other modules in flutter so yeah you can have your native feature in flutter app and that is hybrid conversion native in flutter so this was all about the migration approaches and what we have in our application and what was the application migration right so now it is the right time to think about migration planning okay so i will show you what i was thinking when i was planning this migration and how many stages i had and what things i considered while building the plan okay so i had four stages of development stage one is building core functionalities so here you will build network calls databases Im image implementation deep links push notifications analytics and crash analytics so all these things are very critical and very important for our application and i call them core functionalities so if you're planning a migration you have to build these things first okay that's why it is stage one so what is stage two so in stage two we have to build product features okay for example login for example home stories profile payments and booking so on the right side you can see an example of airplane booking so yeah you can have login home stories profile payments booking and a lot of other features that can be included in stage two of the development then what is stage three the stage three is building plugins or finding the plugins so basically you have to make sure that you have all plugins in stage three and if you do not have that plugin you have to build by yourself let's see some examples of the plugins payment plugin map plugin fitness plugin camera plugin a video plugin where so this were the examples of plugin so this was the stage three the stage four is very critical and that is compatibility in compatibility you have to make sure that your older app is compatible with your newer app okay your older app can be in android your newer app can be in flutter but you want to make sure that your older app looks very similar to new application okay it should not look different right if user find out that you have migrated your app but it is very different from the older one okay 
the user might not use your app if by chance you have played with the user experience then definitely he is not gonna love that okay so let's see what are the compatibility things we have the first one is the authentication information okay if a user has already logged in in your older app okay so after upgrade you want to make sure that user is not re-login again okay for example if i am logged in into my facebook application and tomorrow facebook releases a migrated app which is migrated into flutter i would not like if facebook asked me to log in again right so that is authentication information and you, you should make sure that authentication information is not lost next is local db data you want to make sure that all the local db data which were in the application should be there for example if tomorrow whatsapp is migrated to flutter right you don't you do not want to lose your chat right so yeah that is local db data so you should make sure that your new app should adapt the old db data the next thing is user interface user interface is very important you don't want to play with user interface either you can make it better but don't make it bad okay and make sure that your older apps user interface looks very similar to your new apps user interface the last and very important thing is user experience okay so if your user have loved your older app he would love to see the same experience or better experience in the newer app okay and as a developer you should make sure that your user should not know if you're if you you have migrated your app okay he should only say okay there are some improvement in your app okay so that was all, all about the four stages of development when you are planning your migration now i am going to give you some examples of how i choose the migration approaches and what were my stages as you already know that i work at zestmoney as mobile team lead i'm going to give you an example of migration from zestmoney's point of view so let's say that i have three application one is consumer merchant app and modern experience app okay i will go through each app and show you what i did or why what i would do when i will plan my migration so let's first see about merchant app in merchant app i have three features one is login manage and onboarding so these features are very simple they are not very complex they have simple ui and they have an api calls so in this case because it is very simple thing only ui and api i don't have many features i have features less than four right so here i can choose full conversion here i can stop the current native application development and i can go on converting my application to flutter okay the next example is for consumer app in consumer app i have lots of features for example login home shop purchase emi profile and onboarding so here because we have lots of features so i cannot afford to stop current development because my business is running on my current app okay so here i will go for flutter in native where i will build my current applications into flutter or current feature into flutter and i will add them into native app okay let's see an example of last app which is modern experience app here i have three feature login ar interaction with store and onboarding through ar so here i have an ar functionality which is native but which is very critical to my business and i don't want to touch that in this case again i will choose hybrid conversion but native in flutter so what i will do i will write my application in flutter i will write you know very new application into flutter and i will add that functionality the native functionality into the new flutter app so that i can have best of my native product as well as the new features written into flutter so this was an example of what kind of conversion approach you will choose next i will show you a simple planning document for application migration it looks something like this okay where you will have feature list okay then you will have some kind of segregation for example implementation knowledge tools available poc needed trd and test things okay basically you are making sure that what things you have and what things you do not have 
okay for example for developers as well so as you can see you will require different kind of developers so you will make sure that you have all those developers with you okay and this is very simple planning document which looks like this okay so next is migration requirements this is very important place where we are going to shape our planning okay we are going to make sure that these requirements are fulfilled for application migration the first one is mobile developers so you need mobile developers for flutter android and ios okay there are some critical functionalities that you might write for example plugins so for that case you will require native and ios developer for all other product development you will require flutter developer next is availability of plugins plugins are very critical for a migration okay for example if your application have a payment feature but if you do not have a payment plugin with you then you cannot migrate your application right so yeah plugins are very critical for application migration and let's see a few example of plugins one is external plugins internal plugins and optional plugins the next is product manager you need a product manager who understands the application migration as a critical product development okay he should understand the value of migration he should treat migration as an important task as product development and he should help developers to get all the required helps that he needed in time the next is product requirement document this is very important so while doing migration you should make sure that how many products or how many features you are going to migrate and if you have proper documentation for that you can plan it much better so here you will require list of features list of packages used in product list of plugins used in product ui design for all features you require all of these as part of product requirement document and then next is tech product requirement document okay so here a technical manager or engineering manager or someone from technical background will prepare a prd for you and this prd should contain list of features with their complexities and charts to understand them list of packages used in product and their availability and complexity list of plugins used in their product their availability and complexity ui designs for all features with navigations and different size implementation as well right because you are building an application you are migrating an application and you know that your application will run on different different size screen sizes right you should have different screen size implementation information as well so this was all about if you are migrating your existing applications to flutter we talked about what is app migration then we saw what are inside up what things are inside our application then we saw different different approaches then we saw how you can plan right your different different stages of development and in the end we saw migration requirement and i will end my talk with a quote which says change is inevitable and growth is optional so basically change is unavoidable if some change is coming on platform framework or product you have to do it anyway right but growth is optional growth is something you choose for example enhance experience you choose to enhance experience of your application you choose to add new feature you choose to add better security in your application change is inevitable and growth is optional and thank you so much for listening me you can connect me on twitter by vivek by 259 same on github same on medium and on instagram you can find me as vivek by 259 and also you can find me on google as vivek flutter or you can scan this qr code and you will find my connection and thank you so much for learning application migration with me make sure you like this video you share this video with someone who is planning migration and you subscribe this youtube channel and i will see you in next video i am vivek yadav and i am signing off